It's the Will Edwards Show, Las Vegas' only late-night variety talk show. And now, here's your host, Will Edwards. All right. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in to the Will Edwards Show. How are you, Mike Doria? I'm good. Excellent, excellent. We have, I think, a fantastic show tonight. I think we have a super duper fantastic show tonight. I agree with you. Who's on the show? B.D. Freeman. Oh, I know, B. right? B.D. Freeman. He has two shows. Two shows on, on VH1. VH1. Yeah. Holy we God. love everything about him. Like he's loved everything about the everything. The, all the years. All the years. Nineties. Exactly. Two thousands. I, I love it. And then our musical guest, Maxwell Fresh. Maxwell Fresh is here. <laughs> Thanks for being right on top of that. <laughs> it was happening. Watching you and trying not to laugh, Mike. It's okay. My wife says the same thing. It's time for our thought of the day. Wow. Here we all go. Right. The thought of the day is this. Some parents, they have, young, they have teenage children, and you're, they're saying words around you that you might not know. Like? Like, ski. <laughs> or surfboard. So you gotta get onto the Urban Dictionary to find out what your kids are actually saying around you. And for us, well, being that you're new here, well, I, 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 I went to the Urban Dictionary Oh. To uh, find out a little more about you. Oh. Yeah, I looked up Doria. Oh. Here is what it says. Oh, oh. I'll take my glasses off for this. It says, um, he doesn't appear too bright, but turns out being smarter than average. Is that, is Come that, on. Is that, is that, usually single because he's, well, not a whore. He doesn't get involved in that scene. He hates being left out and can't stand bragging. Oh, can't stand bragging. Oh, that's not you. That, that's not you at all. So sorry, that's our thought of the day. We'll be right back right after this. You're a bragger, I think. That's just me for sure. Well, we all have a, you know, we have to work on something, right? restaurant downtown in the World Market Center. <laughs> Rebecca, right this way. So you're aware this is like a cheerleader role. Yeah. Well, not like a cheerleader, just she's very cheerful. Cookies and cream beat all the rest. Go cookies and cream. Cheer, like actually cheer it? Yeah, with the... How do you feel? Cookies and cream are the best. Cookies and cream are a dream. No dream. Ah. Where's the dream from? Did you say dream? No. Does this one say dream? dream? Cookies and cream are the best. Cookies and cream make you scream. Cookies and cream beat all the rest. Go cookies and cream. Go Rebecca. Rebecca, right? Okay. Cookies and cream are the best. Cookies and cream are a dream. Oh. The lines were there. Thank you. Grab an espresso on the way out. It'll help wake you up. <laughs> There's no dream in this industry for her. Lord. Hi, my name is Rob Kettle. I'm auditioning for the role of Tom. I'm non-union. Um, Tom is a complicated character that uh, had a tough upbringing and um, later becomes a raper after dropping out of high school. Uh, raper? It's rapper. 
he becomes, he becomes a, a rapper. rapper. <laughs> you can go. Well, that was embarrassing. How are you confusing? Um, sit down. Um, hi. Uh, my name is Anhill Mendoza. Ant Hill? Anhill. Yeah. Ant Hill. Ant, Ant Hill. Ant. It's hard to say. Anhill Mendoza. This is good start. All right, so um, let's see it. Be a zombie. That's actually pretty good. good. Um, give me a little, a little sad zombie. Not too sad. A little more like. Yeah, my favorite show sad just case. got canceled. <laughs> now let's be an excited zombie. Pretend that you like just got out of your cell. You're gonna meet your friends. <laughs> Confused zombie, okay? Like you don't know who you are emotionally. It's like you're trying to find the meaning of life. Yes. You know? That's awesome. Oh my god, he's so oh good. Oh my god, that's great. Oh so my. What's his name again? Who is it? Angel. Angel. Little... Angel. 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 Okay. Angel. Hey everybody, I'm Will Edwards and this is Mike Doria from The Will Edwards Show and we need your help. We need you guys to help us create the new Will Edwards Show t-shirt. All you have to do is go to www.randyfermandesigns.com and get started. Just click on the T-West banner and all you have to do is design your t-shirt, submit it there and you're in the contest. This contest ends August 21st and the winner will have an appearance on the finale of The Will Edwards Show. Isn't that exciting? Well, I already drew, well, you know, a design for the t-shirt. Really? What is it? Well, it's, you know, it's <laughs> tea, like turkey, and then, but I put little glasses on there, you. <laughs> Please go to www.randyfurmandesigns.com and create a t-shirt. Hurry. Right. <laughs> nice. Can to make it vegan? Welcome back to the program. We, we're excited. Our special guest this evening, he stars in two, I said two, VH1 programs, the greatest and the best of the 2000s. Ladies and gentlemen, B.D. Freeman! Thank you. How are you, man? Fantastic being here. Hey. Fantastic being man, here, you thank guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, I appreciate you guys having me. This is a good time, man. Yeah, yeah. Five years. Five seasons. Five seasons I know, man. Of, That's of crazy. the greatest. Yeah, it's been a good time, man. Like I was I was so happy when I got this show, man, because you know how Hollywood is. It's like, you know, I am guesting on this show, I'm guesting on that show. And you just it's up and down and they kept having me back for auditions and then nothing would happen. Oh. And then I was uh I was actually in uh Racine, Wisconsin, which is my hometown. I was there um doing um I was hosting the All City uh, prom. They had asked me to come back oh, and to wow. do that. And on the way to the to the to the show, I get a call from like my people, and they're like, "You got Good. it." And I was like, I, "I was like, I'm not made of wood. Like, do not, <laughs> don't play do, with yeah, me. don't play with my feelings <laughs> like this, man. Like, did I get it?" And it was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Oh my gosh!" So I gave a a, 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 a Johnny Drama Entourage victory. Victory! <laughs> you know, because I was so happy. Yeah. That's you, great, man. You were the prom queen that day, weren't you? I was the prom queen. <laughs> I, I'm the prom queen every day. Well, every day, right? there it is. Stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was so, yeah, I was happy. I was so very happy. But it's been the great five seasons, man. I mean, the great thing about working at MTV is that you never know, like, who you're going to see. You show up to work, and you're walking through those hallways, and it's like, oh, there's Will Smith. Oh, there's Mariah Carey. And there's this person. There's that. Like, it's just everybody. Wow. You know, and they all come on to the show, and you get to meet everybody. And, uh, it's, it's, it's fantastic. That's great. And five seasons, congratulations. Thank you. Say congratulations. Thank sure. you very much. Five seasons. 
how did you kind of find out about the, the show was, and say, I can do that? Um, I had been watching uh, in college, I had been watching like the, the I love the 90s, I love the 80s, all of that. And I thought to myself, I, I was seeing guys, uh, good comedians come on to that show and then springboard off into their own thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, that's for me. That's how I can come in, make my way and be able to springboard on, you know, to, to the next thing. Um, and so that was like my goal, it's like get on this show. So I had already known about it and, you know, it was already a big show, so I was just loving it. So what did, you, what, what did you love about the 90s, one thing? One thing I loved about the 90s, oh, let's see. I love the, you know, I love the rap in the early, in the early, early 90s. 90s. Yeah. Before yeah. it turned into the, like, the whole ghetto thing and all of a sudden, brothers talking about killing you. Yeah. Are you crazy, you know what I'm saying? Are we talking about killing me for? I bought the CD. <laughs> You know? <laughs> you know, but it's like, but before that, before like, that, it, was it was good. It was good. It was and R&B was good. Yes. 90s R&B. See, that's when you used to have to dance. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, no we, we, you would go out and dance, and then you'd get done, and I'd have to peel off. <laughs> Like the it was like the baddest and ass aerobic and, session ever. And you didn't care how sweaty you looked. No, not you at looked all, like. man. You, just, you, you could get into the get club. It. You didn't have to wait in a line for. Yeah, yeah you and then you get in there and you just go do on. the whole thing and go all crazy, you know. <laughs> it didn't even matter. It was it was a good time. I don't know how the kids dance today though. Like, how do you go out on the floor and dubstep with a girl? Like, how you out there you bounce it on your back and everything? Like, can I get your number? You know, <laughs> <laughs> like what? <you> <laughs> <laughs> you know, that don't make no damn sense at all, man. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about a couple of things that you got going on. All right. And we're going to try to pry some other things out of you. But we'll be right back with B.D. Freeman right after this. <laughs> Can we talk about the 2000s? All right. Word on the street. Street. Uh, that's I, what I said. The word on the street. I'm on the. You're, yeah, yeah. The, the, I you didn't just, know you that. Just, the word that my that you I was are, yes on you, the street. Yes. Street dudes street. are talking about me. Yes. Okay. They're like this award he won. They're what? Like, How much money does that dude have? Somebody <laughs> rob his ass. That's what the word on the street is. <laughs> <laughs> but you you recently got a, a prestigious yeah, yeah, award. Yeah, I, uh, I won the uh, the uh, the uh, Black Comedy Award, man. That's awesome. And, uh, that is yeah. awesome. Thank, wow. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I guess I'm the number one up and comer on television now, is what that means. And um, uh, it was it was fantastic, man, because we flew on out to uh, to New York to get the award, and um, it was at the Alvin Ailey Theater. Oh, wow. So. When I walked in there, man, I mean, it was, I mean, it really hit me when I walked in there because nice. I'm thinking of the people who strode that stage, you know, Sidney Poitier and right. Sammy Davis Jr. and Eddie Murphy and Rich Pryor and just all of these different people. And I was like, man, and I, I just, I was hoping so much that I was, that they were going to call my name, that I was going to, I mean, I knew it was good right. just to be nominated, but, but. You know, when you when it when it comes to the day, like all the all the way till it, yeah, to the day, when people ask you, oh man, yeah, man, you got nominated. You're like, oh, you know what? You gonna you want to win? Hey, I want to win, but you know what? It's just good to be nominated. You're right. You know, it's just good to be nominated until the day. <laughs> you know what I'm when the day comes and everything, you know, it's like man, I want to win. <laughs> Taking I'm people out the win. bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like what, who I gotta kill to win this thing? <laughs> you know. But I was already with my, with my, you know what? I'm just happy to be nominated. Yeah. I'm glad for you, Face. Uh, you know, when they call the other guy and you're like, <laughs> you know what? I'm glad he won. I didn't want it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even want, want it. it. I didn't even. This wasn't my year. It was his. It's stupid awards anyway. You know, you know? <laughs> I was ready with that face. But when they called my name, man, I'm telling you. That I, had to be a great moment. It man. was emotional. I'm it sure. It was emotional. And I, I mean, 
It's one of the biggest days. Good one of the you. biggest days of my life. Well, man. congratulations. You Thank deserve you. it, man. Seriously. Thank you. you really, Thank really you. do. But you got some projects coming up. Yeah, I mean, Short people way. people who uh, who follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and all that will see that a lot, all of my stuff is tagged with uh, hash mark uh, BDFPL. And what that is is that it's the BD Freeman Project Live, which is a show that is coming soon. And that's uh, all I can say about it right now. But it's a show that's coming you're, you're amongst family here. <laughs> BD is You say that because you want to ask me for money later. So, <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> But you're, you're doing that. You're about to you know go. What I like about this show? What is it? That y'all serve alcohol to the guests. Oh, we do. You get here. You know, they tell you, they cheers. cheers it up. Cheers you know, it's cheers crazy, it though. Cheers because, you know. Like everybody takes a sip and. Mm, mm. And then we say, and then we say, you, oh, you, you. This is moonshine, man. <laughs> <laughs> you do that there. Yeah, we got serve some... ripple on this show, man. We got somebody in the back that makes it <laughs> by hand. Y'all making ripple. <laughs> but tour soon. Yeah, yeah, BD Freeman and Friends tour coming up and um, national tour. And it's great because now that, you know, I'm, I got that, the whole celebrity thing going on, that they're letting me choose who I want to take with me. Oh, nice. So, yeah, so I'm, they're putting it together. I'm making some choices, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll be out on the road. And I'll be, it's going to be a crazy schedule because I'll have the, the show shooting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday is uh, a rerun. So Friday, I go out on the road, oh, wow. and Friday and Saturday, I'll be performing somewhere, and then Sunday, I, uh, I'll have the day off, so wow. the sleep, you know. So who inspires you? Like, how do you uh, find the time to get inspired when doing all that? Um, man, that's such a good question. I'm, I, don't, I, I don't watch comedy, and I don't watch people in late night. And it's because I love everybody. I'm such a fan of everyone. Yeah. And I don't want for anybody else's style to come into mind, so I don't really watch anybody. It's more um, what inspires me. Well, I, I, I watch uh, a lot of the old guys. I'm talking about like uh, Jack Benny, mm. you know, old. Uh, I watch a lot of the, uh, the original uh, Tonight Show, yes. with Johnny Carson. I watch a lot of the, because those guys were so good. And everybody is really just trying to, you know, Mimic work yeah, 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 from where they were f yeah. coming from. And it's so original. And then even like um, guys like Abbott and Costello and, and uh, Lewis and Martin and Jerry Lewis, of course, on his own. Of course. And uh, I mean, all the way back to like Ernie Kovacs and people like that. Wow. So, so I watch, I think I, I, I watch that kind of stuff to get, um, to be inspired, you know. And also, you know, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person, I'm a Christian, so for me, like, I'll, I'll, I find inspiration also, you know, in the Bible, so right. between watching, um, you know, this old comedy and then being spiritually fed and then um, just trying to hang out with good people and eat some good food, like, I think that, I know that it's like, what do you, I know what you're saying, you're saying, like, what, it, what does it take to fill my well back up so I can keep on doing that? I think that though, that's kind of the things that it that it takes Important. for me because if you sit and you kind of watch your work all the time you just you're so amped up that you can't ever relax yeah you know and i don't watch me either i don't watch my show oh. you know a lot of people think like oh you probably watch no no well you don't have time you're doing I, well no, i'm yeah. too hard I'm too hard on myself <laughs> right. i'm too hard on myself oh yeah because i'm, sure. I'm a, because i only sleep probably like four or five hours a night yeah you know so it's i mean you must be doing something right yeah. on TV, right? Well, doing, well yeah, I, I mean, guess he's, so. doing a, he's doing a lot of things right. You're on TV too, so I yeah, guess y'all doing something right. We, we, we're I working. The, on. Only, the only people who are doing something right are people on TV. That's like, not let's what get, I said, Mister. Let's oh, get this oh, out. Oh, my mouth. <laughs> I didn't it's say it. You it on your own show. <laughs> well, listen, man. We want to thank you for coming out, taking the time, being here. We appreciate you being here, ladies and gentlemen. One more time for BD Freeman. We'll be right back. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. My name is Kelly Schwartz, and I'm an independent filmmaker here in Las Vegas. 
My wife Charisma and I started the Indie Film Factory less than a year ago, simply because we wanted the place for filmmakers to bring their visions and their films to life. Not only is the Indie Film Factory a great place to shoot commercials and music videos and scenes for your film, but it's also a great place to hold workshops, to do casting sessions, and it's also a really great place if you're a video professional and you don't have a studio space for, for your clients to meet in, the Indie Film Factory is definitely a place you need to check out. Welcome back. Welcome back to this show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our musical guest. It's the amazing Maxwell Fred.
The idea behind VegasOnTheMic.com is to build a vibrant music scene in the city of Las Vegas. And so we offer a venue where any artist can come in and perform and walk away with all the tools they need to be successful. Tools like free recordings, free photography, and even free music videos. To me, it's just my family every week. It's a way to meet other singer-songwriters and musicians that are awesome and amazing and help support them. Vegas on the Mic is inspiration. I love Vegas on the Mic. It's just a family. It's one big family. We all support each other. And it's really been, I would say, a staple in what Las Vegas talent and music and culture is. Oh, girl, why get your nails done by anybody when you could get lacquered up? <laughs> Man, oh man. Or woman, oh woman. Or woman, oh woman. That was a great show. Yes. Wow. Should we just thank everybody? No. Come on, Mike. Thank everybody. You thank everybody. All right, fine. We want to thank B.B. Freeman for being here. I introduced them. You, you roll it out. It's all your right, show, all mister. All right, OK, fine. And, and Maxwell Fresh, we want to thank those guys. See how that works? I, I like it. Yeah. Thank you for suggesting it, Mike. No problem, Will. So next next week is our season finale. It is going to be Whoa. I incredible. It is. I think the season finale is going to be, it's going to knock your socks off. Probably will. Do you wear socks? Sometimes. Excellent. And they both match. Nice. Yeah. This is going to be the season finale of season finale. Like forever? Yes. This season finale, you're going to want to watch it while you're making love with someone you love. That's how good it's gonna be. This season finale is gonna have you calling out God's name. Huh? Well, we haven't made this season. <laughs> Tune in anyway. Next week, season finale, Will Edwards Show. We'll see you next week, everybody. <laughs> that is a good point, man. You bring up a good point. Cheers, my friend. <laughs>I think it's time for a break. Like um like a 15 minute break? Mm, a little longer. Half hour break? Longer than an hour? No, a lunch break. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Uh, what do you got there? Oh, ooh, man. You should think about that. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a vegan lunch.